A man arrested for killing an Army vet in Uptown Dallas last week may have shot two more people while he was on the run. Corey Thompson is now in jail, charged with murder for the Dallas killing of Roderick Butler. Today, police in Balt Springs say he's their suspect for a Christmas Day murder. And Rowlett police looking into whether he was the gunman in a shooting in their city. Fox 4's David Centendry is in Dallas with the update. David. Yeah, several shootings. This convicted violent criminal is allegedly connected to, and at least one of these shootings appears to be random. Corey Antoine Thompson is charged with murder. The 45-year-old allegedly used a rifle to kill a man off McKinney Avenue in Uptown Dallas on December 20th. Now, Thompson is connected to two additional shootings, one of them a murder. Both took place during the six days Thompson was on the run. Balch Springs Police Department is going to name Corey Thompson as a suspect. Balch Springs PD says a white Lincoln SUV registered to Thompson rolled up on a vehicle Christmas morning and opened fire. The man in the driver's seat, identified as Francisco Jesus Manriquez, was shot several times in the head. His female passenger was not injured. During the time of the shooting, she ducked down. Here's what she told police. All of a sudden, this Lincoln pulls up and he starts firing into the vehicle without saying any words, without making any interaction or any communication. It was just a random shooting. We know for a fact that it wasn't pertaining from a road rage incident or from a robbery. It was just a random shooting. Five days prior, on December 20th, Dallas police say Thompson shot and killed Army veteran Roderick Butler. At the time, police believed the shooting was isolated. There's not a danger to the public. This is isolated and that he was targeted for some reason. As the investigation has gone on, Thompson's white Lincoln SUV has been linked to the Christmas murder in Balch Springs. And Balch Springs PD says it's been in contact with Rowlett police about a shooting involving a white Lincoln SUV there. Luckily, the person was not hurt. Additional charges in the Balch Springs case could be coming soon. We're still waiting for ballistic evidence. Thompson has a history of aggravated assault convictions. He was out on bond when he allegedly committed these recent shootings. Those charges relate to felony criminal mischief, misdemeanor assault causing bodily injury, family violence, and misdemeanor terroristic threat of family household. Magistrate Janet Lusk signed bond paperwork in May. Bond was set at $10,000. And right now, Thompson is being held without bond. I reached out to Rowlett Police Department regarding its investigation, and it does confirm that it is working with Balch Springs PD on an incident, a collaborative investigation. But it says at this point in time, it does not have enough evidence to specifically tie the suspect to this incident, but it hopes to share some more information with an update tomorrow. For now, Steve, back to you. Okay, David Centenary in Dallas. Now, David, thanks.